So this is just another quick update of the uh, progress of this uh, NorCal Sierra. Um, just completed adding the uh, SA-602 uh, beat frequency oscillator. Um, and uh, you can have a look at the, I've got the oscilloscope uh, hooked up to pins, uh, to pin seven of the SA-602, which is the oscillator uh, input. Um, and if you have a look uh, on the screen here, you can, on the oscilloscope, you can see uh, it is indeed oscillating. And you can't quite see, probably can't quite make out the frequency, but that's uh, 4.91508 megahertz. Um, so it is indeed oscillating. And um, what we can now do is, uh, is prove that the beat frequency oscillator is actually working. And to do that, I've got a little uh, simple crystal tester here. And there's this. There's dozens of these kind of circuits that are uh, that are available on there, but effectively it's just a simple little oscillator. You put a crystal in there and it oscillates at the uh, crystal frequency. And we can show if we turn this on now, you can actually hear the uh, the beat frequency oscillator doing its work. Um, so uh, we've got the uh, crystal checker now on that LED there is just to demonstrate the crystal's uh, okay, nothing else. Um, and you can see that uh, we get, we're receiving an audio tone. Um, I've got a little antenna, antenna, it's just a length of wire hooked up to pin one of the SA602, which is, uh, which is the input pin. Uh, actually, uh, pins one and two are the, in, are the input pins uh, uh, for a balanced input for this, but this is uh, using an unbalanced input in the, into the SA602. And you can hear that audio tone, and as I move my hand closer to the uh, crystal tester it I guess it uses me as an antenna and uh, the signal the signal gets stronger one of the other things that's in this circuit just as a matter of interest is there is a uh, uh, there is a uh, variable capacitor that's associated with the BFO and by altering that you can hear that the tone changes So this confirms that the, uh, the SA602 is good, the BFO is good, uh, audio is good, and we're sort of continuing to move our way back through the receiver chain, uh, uh, piece by piece. Um, the next piece that I'll, uh, I'll be looking at is the um, IF amplifier circuit up the, uh, up the top here and the, uh, and the AGC circuit as well. And uh, once I have that confirmed, uh, we can move to the VFO. So just a little quick update here and uh, I'll catch you later.